A set is a collection of objects called elements or members. Here is a collection of even numbers. We can say this is a set. We denote the set with capital letters. Let's denote the set by S. Here, this S is the set and these numbers are the elements of this set. Mathematically, we express this relation using this symbol. It means belongs to or member of. For example, here 2, 4, 6, 8 belong to S. Furthermore, we can say 1 does not belong to S. A set can be expressed in two ways. We can separate the elements inside of a set of curly brackets by commas, or we can use the properties of the elements which characterize them. Here, 2, 4, 6, 8 are even integers, and they are greater than 0 and less than 9. Using these properties, we can express the set as S is a set of X such that X is even integer and X is greater than 0, less than 9. Here, this vertical bar is read as such that and this comma is read as and. Suppose a set P is a set of X such that X is odd integer and X is greater than zero. Can you express it using elements? Here are two properties, odd integers and greater than zero. That means P equals one, three, five, seven, and so on. When we can assume the elements of a set, we use dots instead of making it lengthy. Suppose E is a set of x such that x square minus 3x plus 2 equals 0. Can you find the elements of this set? Here x square minus 3x plus 2 equals 0. We can write x square minus 2x minus x plus 2 equals 0. Then we can take the x common from here and minus 1 common from here. And then we can take x minus 2 common from these two terms. Then we get x minus 2 multiplied with x minus 1 equals 0. That means x equals 1 and 2. Therefore, e equals 1, 2. Now let us take two more sets. f equals 2, 1 and g equals 1, 2, 2, 1. If I say e equals f equals g, will you agree? Do you think I'm making a mistake here? In set theory, this relation is correct. Here e equals f equals g. Let's see how e, f and g are same here. Suppose we have a set H. It has two elements, a square and a circle. We have another set I. The elements are a circle and a square. Both of them are set of square and circle. Changing the arrangement of the elements is not going to make them a set of triangle or something else. This is why the set remains the same when we rearrange the elements. Now, suppose we have another set J. 
and elements are two circles and two squares arranged like this. This is also a set of circle and a square. No matter how many squares or circles are here, it is still a set of circle and square like H and I. This is why repeating the elements do not alter the set and we can say H equals I equals J. I hope now you understand why E equals F equals G is correct relation. Interesting, right? That's all for this lesson and I'll see you in the next lesson.